Hello everybody, we're getting ready to do uh, another OpenGL screencast. I know I promised you I was going to do lighting material this time, um, but instead we're going to do some code organization things that will prepare us for the future. So um, first things first, we've got a few new things in our make file here for uh, screencast. We've got globals, print, air, shapes, models, interaction, initialization, draw, and display. And we'll go through each of these files briefly uh, this time, and next time we'll get into more of the real OpenGL stuff. So if you don't like how I have my code organized, I'm always down with feedback. I always want to learn more and figure out the best way to do it. I'm not a C expert, so by uh, all means, go ahead and let me know what you like. So anyway, this is the make file. So now let's go on and just trying to check out each of these things. So let's open up the screencasts first. And so here we go. All we're doing is we're including all of our headers in here. And our globals are a bunch of extents here. So we can look at those globals. And here they are. So it's kind of redundant. I'm actually setting these here. And if we actually look at initialize, you know, initialize globals function. Um, and I actually call them there too. So we, this could be like a reset as well. So that's those. Um, let's keep on going and fly through these. So let's look at common. Common is just a bunch of defines so we're going to keep in there. So like the poor man's pi, cosine, and sine, and degrees and the number of degrees we're using for rotation for those uh, uh, cylinders and whatnot. So let's uh, open up uh, print. It's going to be the same. It's just uh, remove that air um, check and put it in its own. So that's pretty much the same. Air check is that. The header just includes that one. Um, shapes is going to be like things that are cubes, cones, cylinders, anything that's basically not a complex object. Complex objects are all going to be in models um, as they are comprised of one or more shapes. So let's take a look at shapes real quick. We basically have our cube and our cone in it for, the, for this screencast. And the exact same inner uh, cubes and cones that we had before. The only thing is I moved the vertices to the inside the cone here um, before they were out. So those are our shapes, our models, like I said, are going to be any more of our complex objects. So like our spike, which is a cone, and our tower, which is several cones, etc. Um, excuse me, models. Let's see, those are going to be in here. So since this is a cone, but it's modified, it's going to be inside of the models instead of shapes. Tower is just the cubes and the spikes. So those are those. Interaction is going to be any kind of keyboard and mouse interaction that we would have with the user. So our window key, window menu, and window special. So we can look at those real fast. Basically those are the same thing as before, we just moved them into their own file here. Um, initialization, I kind of already showed you uh, that we're just initializing those functions for code organization's sake. And finally, draw and display, which I'll get to briefly. Just to uh, update you real quick, basically the whole thing, this is the exact same project as the last time, but we're just organizing your code more efficiently. So display is going to be one of the big things, and draw are the big two that we go forward with in the future. So draw, at the moment, is so we're going to have their axes, valleys, and the scene. So let's go ahead and open up the code for that. Axis and val values are the same. In the draw scene here, uh, we're just calling the objects that we want to call. Um, in the future, we'll probably do something like draw tower, draw spike, draw whatever, which we'll call those individually. Um, so right now, the scene is, is pretty simple. We just have those two towers, and th this is where we'll be modifying a lot of our code in the future. Finally, um, let me close these. We have our display. And this is where we're going to have our eye, our initial uh, init, uh, reshape and project. And we'll open up that code. So this is just sets up the display function. This sets our eye. So it used to be called set eye. It's called, it used to be called reshape as before. And project. So each of these are just called in here um, in the display function. And here is where we'll call like the draw axes and the values and scene. Then we're using the display sanity check with the air check function. So I think that's pretty much each of the things that are within this. So it's pretty simple. 
Um, like I said, if we were doing maybe say um, you know uh, C plus plus or something, we would probably organize it a little different. Um, but for just plain C code, I think this is pretty good. Like I said, I'm always down with feedback, so let me know what you think. And next time, we will definitely be getting into material and lighting. Thanks.